Like you are definitely not riding on a hood of this truck. <laughs> I mean, you see the same characters we've we've grown to know and love in a completely different light than you've seen them before. <laughs> So tell me, in the first scene of this movie, you're already like flying off the roof of a truck. Yes. Did you have to fight to get to do your own stunts in this film? Sometimes. I mean, some stunts they were totally fine with me doing, but I mean, that when I was riding on the hood of the truck, that was definitely one that I had to fight for. Right. Yeah, they were like, <laughs> at first they were like, you are definitely not riding on a hood of this truck. <laughs> I was like, okay, but I mean, I, I really think I should. So somehow I convinced them to allow me to do it. And then they were like, okay, well, you can only go 20 miles an hour on it. And then I was like, no, I need to experience, you know, the adrenaline and everything. So I convinced them to let me go pretty fast. But uh, it was it was fun. Well, you could tell in the scene yeah, that you yeah. were not faking. No, we were really <laughs> doing it. It was a great time. Now, I heard that at the premiere you said you were a little protective of Lily in some of the action scenes, but did she impress you when the cameras went, were rolling? Absolutely. I mean, she is with me the entire time. I mean, you know, besides the, the very end in the baseball stadium, she pretty much is doing everything I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't know what to expect, but she was extremely impressive. What's the experience like when you're doing a movie like this where you're working opposite one person for so many of the scenes? Um, better hope you get along yeah. <laughs> or it would be a nightmare. But uh, no, I mean, Lily's a, a great girl, so we had a great time making the movie. And then, you know, I had a lot of other great co-stars in this movie as well. I mean, working with legends like Sigourney Weaver and right. Alfred Molina, Maria Bello, Jason Isaacs, I was, I was a very lucky guy. I know you've said you had a chance to see Breaking Dawn actually a couple of times. Yeah. And you promised that it's going to make fans cry. So does that mean you teared up a little bit? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Really? Ah, of course. It's, it's, it's an emotional one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see the same characters we've, we've grown to know and love in a completely different light than you've seen them before. Um, I mean, it's still part of the same franchise, but it's really, it's a, it's a completely different movie. Right. And I think that's going to be exciting for fans to see. Was there a moment during shooting or on the set where the finality of everything sort of hit you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was actually, I mean, the big moment for, for me was the, the second to last day of filming because that was my final scene with Kristen and Rob. Um, and uh, it was an emotional scene we were filming, so that really didn't help. <laughs> um, but it was, it, was, it was tough, and it's a very weird feeling to be, to be done right. filming. Now, as I'm sure you know by now, Brad Pitt recently said that Shark Boy and Lava Girl is on high rotation at his house. Did you hear that? No. You hadn't. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I think he also he knew you as the guy that's photographed without his shirt on frequently. Is what oh, he said. <laughs> gotcha. gotcha. How surreal is that? It is. I'm trying to picture Brad Pitt in front of his couch watching Shark Boy and Lava Girl yeah, right exactly. now. It's kind of a funny visual. <laughs>